Hi guys, so we are back for more taste testing. Our next product is a cookie selection. Ooh, cookies! Gotta love a cookie. Um, I think there's a special Christmas. Uh, two kinds of chocolate cookie. Um, there's the box. It's part of the finest range again. Um, the description on the box is quite. Confusing? Confusing, yeah. Let's say that. It makes you think there's three different kinds, but yeah. there isn't. There's only two. The first one is a triple chocolate cookie. And the second one is a blood orange and Belgium dark chocolate cookie. Blood orange is such a strong flavour. Mm. I'm not sure if I'm looking forward to that one. Orange flavoured, perfect. Blood orange. Ugh. We'll try Sorry. the plain chocolate one first, the triple chocolate cookie. I can smell the chocolate from here. Mm -hmm. Wow. So this is the triple chocolate? Yes. Interesting. What do makes it a triple chocolate? It's a chocolate biscuit or chocolate chips. It's probably got like loads Maybe it's got two different kinds of chocolate chips because one's lighter like, than the other. One looks like you have white, yeah. Or dark and milk. Definitely smells chocolate. Mmm. Oh yeah, got the chocolate on the bottom. So it's a chocolate biscuit mm. with chocolate chips and, and chocolate, chocolate base. Okay. Got a really nice crunch to it. Um, perfect flavouring throughout. It's actually really nice. I love it. Love it, it just tastes like a normal biscuit. Which is really shocking because it's gluten free. <laughs> so yeah, well done Tesco's finest. You've uh, excelled yourself. And um, if your little ones like to put cookies out on Christmas Eve for old Saint Nick, it's a good choice. Yeah, I mean, amazing. I think I could eat way too All many of them. Of them. Yeah. <laughs> They are going to be very addictive. They do have ones. oats in them, but mm. they are gluten-free oats, though. Well, I should hope so. <laughs> they uses oat flour. Okay, interesting. Yeah, gluten-free oat flour. It's a new one to me. I've not had an oat flour. Mm. Tapioca flour. Which I've heard of. Yeah. Okay. It's got fat reduced cocoa powder in it. Ooh. Nice. Slightly healthy. Not really. But, yeah. Mm -hmm. but yeah. The triple chocolate one. Really nice. Ten? Well, it's got to be, really. I mean, it tastes like a normal biscuit. Which we've only found that once that's uh, so with the um, shortbread ones yeah from um, Walkers Walkers it? yeah but yeah perfect I think that's probably the first item in all our taste testing things that I've got in a 20 yes this is very true with that one I can't see how they could improve it no they can't so that's good this one's the one I'm scared about. This is the blood orange one. This is what it looks like. Again, it makes me think of the penguin. The chocolate penguin. <laughs> or the club. Yeah. Oh, I can smell the orange from now. Ooh. That's strong. But it reminds me of that cookie we had earlier. The so orange. Is it? Yeah. The smell mm. of it. I'm gonna smell a bit first. Oh. It's very strong orange. It smells like Terry's chocolate orange. It's a lot softer than the last one. Hmm. I mean, when I've had blood orange before, it can start overpowering, but that isn't. No. It tastes like a chocolate orange. Um, Terry's chocolate orange in a biscuit form. I think I'll give it a nine. 
That's so weird. I was about to say that. <laughs> My favourite is the triple chocolate. Mm. This is okay. It is nice, don't get me wrong. But you cannot beat that triple chocolate. <clears throat> the flavour is not too powerful. It smells powerful in the orange, but it's not. But you just can't top them chocolate ones. No, they're really good. Mm. So I would technically have both again, but it would take me a lot longer to eat the orange ones that we would <clears throat> do to make the, uh, eat the chocolate they're ones. They're not so addictive. No. No. Yeah, this um, tea selection is a really good buy. Mm. I mean, I don't know about any of you guys, but sometimes people want to buy me um, like collection boxes and stuff for Christmas. Yeah, um, tins of biscuits and stuff like that, we, you know, we used to get all the time, but because of celiac disease, you can't do that, because it's just unfair. Either I've got to eat them all, or Kelly has to <laughs> suffer. I she felt, never suffers. I felt so bad the first Christmas I was celiac, mm. and I was giving, I was given, sorry, um, I was given, with joint presents for yeah. everyone else in the household biscuits and chocolates and stuff and I just I didn't know whether to tell them I couldn't eat them or not because at the end of the day it is um it's a thought that counts it was a gift exactly yeah but then after speaking to some people you can be polite and just mm. say thank you very much for your gift it was very thoughtful or I really appreciate it but unfortunately I'm not able to eat them but I'm but I also said at the end that Martin and so and so um, would enjoy them. Yeah. So you know we acknowledge their thought and their you know our respect and that and we saw that yeah. hopefully. Mm -hmm. And because they were aware in the future on the last Christmases, I never got anything like that mm. from them again. They thought something else to give us. Yeah. Um, but I've also said to somebody who's actually asked to get us something food wise, I said, look down the free from it section in the shops mm. if they wanted to give us something like that which is a shame because I feel like um, Martin and whoever else is in the house um, would miss out on well this is the thing one of us has to no yeah. matter what happens one of us has to miss out on something either you have to miss out on your gluten uh, on the product because of the gluten side or I have to miss out on the gluten side Mm. But it's just one of those things. We work around it, you know. But it does, on a from the emotional side, it does make me feel bad because mm -hmm. I know that how Martin does not like gluten free food, which <laughs> is why we are doing this, um, just to help you guys. Don't out. think I'm coming around to this lot. Trust me. <laughs> this is just Christmas. The other times are like, I'd rather not. But it does seem like Tesco's finest are definitely improving with their products. So yes, um, keep going Tesco's, come on. <laughs> Get all your stuff to be finest because that's it's good. Mm. So yeah, if you want to buy something for Christmas, buy these. Yes, definitely. Whoever celiac in your house will not be disappointed. And if they have to share them with other people, they won't be disappointed either. We are now on to the very sad part. Yeah. I say sad part, not really. But it is. It's our last product. This is our last product, guys. I have... I can't even imagine how many of I've actually tried. <laughs> over the vlogs. I do want to say, I have tried Tesco's Your Log recently. Yes, we have tried that one. Yeah. I'm giving it a 10. <sighs> I'm probably going to give it a nine. Um, I think for myself, the topping is slightly sickly. Oh, okay. But I would have it again. Don't get me wrong. I would have it again. It's just slightly sickly. Then I would normally find it on a your log, shall we say? But I've lost the I've lost the plot of where a normal your log tastes like. I think by now. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. But the only trouble is, with your logs, they go fast. We find it hard to get them all. Um, I found the best place, the easiest place anyway, to find a your log is actually Marks and Spencer's. Mm. 
I haven't tried it yet. It's actually sitting in the freezer because I just brought it when I saw it. And I'm but like, we already have the test kits once I open them. Yeah, it? and because they, when you buy them, they do have a short lifespan. Which is so annoying, mm. really, because you want it to last till Christmas. We've still got a couple of weeks left until Christmas, at least. So your love, your love is just going to die. You're like, oh, well, that's just silly. But then you extend the shelf life on the uh, your lugs. Mm. Mm. Sort out the something for me. <laughs> which is why I put my new one in the freezer. Yeah. Okay, well, our last product. It's something that's hopefully be very, very tasty. I've never seen <clears> these <throat> before. I, and I think they're quite hard to find in the shops normally. Yeah, I've only ever seen them at Tesco's, actually. I don't think I've ever seen them in anywhere else. Mm. But, sorry. And so the ones that I have seen, I think I got them from Asda. I think, I'm not sure. But they've got such a strong taste. Oh, no, they have different ones though, aren't they? Yeah, they're not, they're slightly different, but they're only yeah. ones similar ones we've had. Yeah. Anyway, they are Belgian chocolate coated shortbread gingerbread men. It sounds really weird, but... Actually... They're not actually gingerbread men. They don't class themselves as gingerbread men at all. They are shortbread. Yeah. So when you Doesn't look at it... not say anything about men. It just says shortbread. At Christmas time, when you see men, you think gingerbread. Yeah. But there's not actually... Oh, so I have to re refract what everything just said about <laughs> finding them. Yeah. But what I was going to say is the ones that we found in Asda are actual gingerbread men. But... We didn't buy them this time for this particular taste test, so... Because you can get them all year round. Yeah. These are specifically brought out for Christmas, because they've got a uh, snowman on the packaging and uh, Christmassy bits, so we bought them. Look at them! Oh, okay. Intriguing. Yeah, so you get... See, what's that? Three, six, but you get twelve. Twelve. Twelve in a box. So, uh, yeah, it's going to be interesting to try the shortbread, non gingery bread men. Do you want to have one of your own? Or do you want to share one? They're quite small, so we can, we can um, have one each, I think. Ah, thanks, darling. No, oh, these are cute. They are very cute, actually. They're, the details are nice. Um, what's interesting about them is they actually have chocolate. On the back of them. Oh, look at this little man. Look. Oh, look. Well, like chocolate man. Chocolate man. <laughs> Fits well fast because it's short. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're quite short. <laughs> we're short. Okay. Eat me. Eat me. I'm not going to eat you. Why would I eat you? He eats me. Okay. It tastes oaty. It's quite interesting. I really like them. Mm. The chocolate on the back makes them, I think. Yeah, so I was going to say that. <laughs> it's not too much chocolate as well to overpower it. Or no. It's just the right amount of chocolate. I mean, it's not, it doesn't taste like real shortbread, like shortbread we've had before. Mm. And that's gluten-free. It is really nice, though. So I'm going to give it a nine. A nine? Why nine? It doesn't taste like the other shortbread. Okay. Mm. So it does taste a little bit oaty. But I actually really like these. <laughs> I'll try them again. I said the, the chocolate definitely doesn't make it. Um, I think if it was a, just a plain biscuit, it wouldn't be so nice. But I can imagine dunking these in milk. <laughs> so again, Christmas, Father Christmas, people would love these. Um, despite the fact that they're not a short shortbread, as I've tasted before, I actually like the difference. So I'm actually going to give it a ten. My own. No, because I can't give it any higher than a nine or nine and a half. Because of chocolate biscuits. Well, because of the other shortbread biscuits that we've tasted. Hmm. But again, as I say, despite the difference, yeah, they are very nice for Christmas. 
with difference, these are perfect. Mm. The other shortbread biscuits you can have all year round. Mm -hmm. This is just for Christmas. So I'm still going to stick with my 10. Mm, I'm sticking with 9. Yeah, that's fair enough. But again, it is made from gluten-free oat flour. Yes, I was right, oats. Then so were the other ones. The other, the cookies. Yeah, but it tastes so much different than this. Mm. But I knew it was oats. So it seems like a lot of things are made from gluten-free oat oats flour. Oats and oat flour. Mm. But there is a lot of people out there who can't take oats. Yeah. So oh, please be careful with that. Lucky you can. Yeah. But... Yeah, <clears throat> these might just stuff to you, but steal those away. Don't think I'm allowed anymore. <laughs> I'll share them. You can put them in the wrong way. Oh my gosh, okay. <laughs> um, yeah, you have one, you, have, you can have three half the rest. See how it is. <laughs> That's how good they were, I'm sorry. What can I say? <clears throat> well, unfortunately, I think that's gonna, we're going to... End it here, but so, I think... Sorry. So, yeah, that ends this t uh, food taste for Christmas. If you do buy these products, let us know if you can. And have fun. Uh, yes. I hope this has helped. Mm. Um, I say I think our favourite were definitely the cookies, because that's the only product in any of our videos that's got any yeah, twenty eight, Yeah. I think so. But I think if you bought these for your buffet table, your buffet table will not be uh, <clears throat> go empty. Uh, yeah, I mean, we've had to taste some really nice crisps that you can put on, some biscuits, yeah, um, some nibbles, some cakes, you know, with the um, pies, they're really good. Mm. Although I'm not sure I would want the pies again. Well, I'm, I'm sorry, but they do not state what they are on the box. I'm still going to say it, they're not as they state on the box. Mm. The, the, I think the caramel is too overpowering for me. Mm. Um, but say, so if you want a cake, get the your log. If you can find it. If you can find your look, go for it. Yeah. <clears throat> but even the crackers, you know, they're perfect for a nice Christmas table. Yeah. Or the buffet. So, yeah. I know our buffet table's going to look good this year. Let us know what your favourite is. <clears throat> Sorry, I think it's going to be better than it actually has in the whole diagnosis. What, in the last two and a half years it's been... No, well, no, because all the products we've got, they seem to have gotten better in the years. Yeah. So this year's table for buffet will be a lot better than it has mm. been previous years. But if but you have to be aware of it. I mean, I don't buy... We don't actually have... We don't cater for other people. No. We don't, but people cater for us when we go out. Mm. So it's just making them aware of things you can buy and yeah. also the shops you can buy because every shop has something different because they all have their own range. When you have the ranges like Genius and all those other ranges... Yeah. And there's always more and more products coming out every day. Thank God. Um, but supermarkets own brand stuff. It does seem to be getting a lot better. They seem to be more aware that more and more people are becoming gluten free. Some people might can't become gluten free as a health thing because they want to be healthier. But in my opinion, being gluten free is not healthier because since being gluten free, <coughs> I've had to. Um, I'm on vitamin supplements. Yeah. Because I'm not getting the right vitamins. You've got a, defici a deficiency in yeah. the end. Through being gluten free. So if I cut out all my gluten, I'm actually doing bad for myself. So I have to stick with eating gluten as well, as the non gluten free products. So to take a time out and have gluten free products, it's quite interesting actually, mm -hmm. you know. And also, a lot of gluten-free, specifically made gluten-free products, yes. have a lot of added sugar. In a lot of the products we have tasted are very sweet. Yeah. So the good thing, that I think, the things that manufacturers should do is try to keep the taste, but reduce the salt. And I'm no, sure the sugar. That's what I meant, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> they need to reduce the sugar. Yeah. Um... Which I know it's possible because they do it in regular food all the time. Mm. So there must be a way of doing it. Oh, yeah. But they've got to, for instance, Tesco's finest. I've got to keep up their range, add more products to it, and they'll be fine. And keep it all year round. Yeah, some of the stuff should be all year round. But some products only come out for Christmas. Why? I have no idea. 
they've made space for it on the shelves now. So, yeah. I also kind of feel like it might need healthier foods. Like <sighs> yes, a lot of you yeah, know a lot of the gluten free products are very unhealthy. Yes. Yeah, but the whole thing about Christmas is unhealthy, really. <laughs> but yeah, but it's that one time a year you think. I'm allowed this. It's Christmas time. I want to celebrate with my family. You know, and just be happy and don't want to worry about what you're eating. Because a lot of the food we've had have, have had such a strong flavour to them. Mm. So I don't know if they're trying to combat. They're compensating flavour for health, mm. unfortunately. But again, I think Asda need to up their game. Mm. With their products. I will say though, we've had a bit of issues with the Asda that near us. Yes. So I don't. <laughs> know, I don't know if it was. It's just us. Our Asda that isn't very. It's a very big Asda as well. Which is shocking. So yeah. So it is surprising that they have limited stuff. Even the frozen section has become reduced. They mm. moved it, and it's been reduced. They no longer do certain products which I used to buy all the time. But they also have quite a lot of spaces. Even they've got you know labels are there, but. The shelves are empty because they've not stocked it back up. Yeah. As to with the bread situation, hmm. it's been really bad. I've complained about it a few times, and it's still not very good. Yeah. The shelves are more or less empty. I went there one time. I'll see if I can post a video in for you. And the shelves were empty, and this was a Friday morning. Yeah. And it was it was so bad. And then, then I had to complain because almost every section of bread, it was empty. And you expect, when you go, it was after nine o'clock, you go shopping, you expect the shelves to be stocked up. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And Friday is usually, in this town anyway, that we live, it's usually the biggest shopping day of the, of the, mid, of the of week. Of the week, yeah. The biggest shopping day is a Friday. So you'd think that they would have stocked up. But, uh, yeah, I think we'll uh, end our Christmas vlog mm -hmm. here. And have a great Christmas. Have a great Christmas, guys. Or, if you don't celebrate Christmas, have a fantastic holiday. Holidays. Yes, enjoy the holidays. And, uh, yeah, we're going to enjoy ours, aren't we? Mm hmm Going to get fat on all this food, though. A lot of workouts needed. <laughs> That's in the New Year's New Year's resolution. Although I actually kept my New Year's resolution this year. Which was? To try new food. To try new food. What have you done this year? This whole vlog we've tried new food. <laughs> Still going for it. Mm. But I've been I've been done really well this year, haven't You've I? You've done amazing actually to try a different food, yes. Keep up for next year though. Yeah, I'll try. Yeah. Although I'm not sure what my New Year's resolution will be yet. You can you... carry it over, it's fine. Why don't you tell us what yours are to give us some ideas? Yeah, please give us some ideas. Be interested in what you do. <laughs> so Merry Christmas from us too. Mm. And uh and Mickey Mouse is sleeping then. <laughs> And we'll see you later. Bye. Bye.